Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and that is the all new 2024 Jeep Gladiator. This is the Rubicon X trim unveiled here at the 2023 Detroit North America International Auto Show. And in this video, I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of everything that makes the 24 unique. Stay tuned. Yes, gearheads, I am just outside of Camp Jeep where you can see all the obstacles back behind me being conquered indoors uh, by the Jeep family of vehicles. But what we have right here is the new 2024 Jeep Gladiator. This is the Rubicon X trim. And much like the Wrangler that was updated for 2024, uh, which we saw back in New York at the New York Auto Show, a lot of the same applications have been uh, put here on the new Gladiator. First and foremost is this new grill. This uh, was teased for us at the end of the 2023 model year as the celebration of the Rubicon line. And now that is the standard grill across the board for all 2024 uh, Gladiator and Wrangler models. So that is the quickest and easiest way to distinguish a 24 from a previous models here on the Gladiator. Coming around to the side, not a lot has changed on the overall uh, packaging of this vehicle, but I absolutely love this neon color. Neon colors uh, speak to me. I, I absolutely love this. I would take this uh, truck home in a heartbeat because it is the only midsize pickup truck on the segment with removable roof panels, three different roof options, multiple different door options. You can see this one here has got the half doors on it which just gives an awesome look unfortunately if you want windows on half doors they are eh, they're iffy but I, I very much look forward to the potential next generation of the wrangler gladiator having a more ford bronco like door with a frameless design we'll see what happens there another 2024 update are the wheels so very interesting unique style for the 2024 wheels uh, this being the Rubicon X, you get that uh, Willys outline there in the center uh, cap. A very cool look all the way around. I really like it. They are si simplistic, uh, but uh, very unique in their design, wrapped in these Falcon Wild Peak tires. So you do know that this is built on a unique frame that isn't exact uh, with the Wrangler, which allows this to have uh, 7,700 pounds of towing and 1,725 pounds of max 4x4 payload, which they say is the best 4x4 payload in the business. Coming inside, some more changes to the inside are really centered around this, the new Uconnect system, the new screen that is standard in all models with microphones that are meant to work top on top off doors on doors off this thing really is meant to uh, enhance your jeep experience we also have trail maps off-road pages all built into this it is very clean clear and crisp and bright uh, a lot of people have talked about how it just looks a little bit tacked on yes it is kind of floating here but it really is a crystal clear screen that puts the old uh, uconnect system uh, just makes it pale in comparison, literally, because just look how bright this is. You're going to be able to see that in direct sunlight if you've got the top off uh, and keep an eye on what is going on with your vehicle. Other updates for the 24 model year. Looking down here, 12 way power seats with lumbar. So uh, previous Gladiators, previous Wranglers have had to make do with manually moving seats. And again, that goes to, uh, well, what this is for, uh, the just overall ruggedness of the interior. Jeep has made it so that you can still utilize those dream plugs. You can still go out, drive, get muddy, have fun with the doors off, uh, make a mess, and still have the comfort of a power seat with lumbar. So that is a nice touch. 
I also like on these half doors, I've not really gotten to check out uh, the half doors yet in person. We've got this strap with uh, some metal work holding it in place. Gives it a really nice look. And you can see we've got the mirror attached to it as well. So if you like that kind of open air feeling, you can see here with the freedom panels off, you can even take this rear section off. Uh, this really is going to be a unique mid-size pickup truck experience. Coming around back to the back, nothing has really changed back here. The axles have changed, been upgraded for more off-road capability. Uh, but as far as style, design, Jeep really has not done anything new, crazy, or different back here. And uh, we are uh, just kind of greeted with more of the same uh, familiar Jeep styling with the Gladiator. So there you have it. Uh, more luxury, more uh, comfort inside, more technology, and more capability with the new axles and everything that Jeep promised us here with this 2024 Jeep Gladiator. They also unveiled that black one back behind us. That is the new Willys trim. And I would take you on a tour of it, but unfortunately they are doing some film work with it. But you can see there is some AEV uh, upfitted parts on that one. We've got uh, some graphics package on that one. We've got that uh, Sunrider soft top mixed with the hard top back in the back. A lot of really cool options on that one. And then they also showed us that blue Mojave yesterday. Again, unique wheels across the board, updated wheels for that Mojave. I really like the black wheels wrapped in those beefy tires on this Willys. But if you want to see more from us here at the Detroit North America International Auto Show, be sure and hit that subscribe button down below. Ring the bell so you're notified every time a new vehicle drops or new video drops. I wish I was dropping vehicles. Um, you can also find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Everything is at GT Garage Talk or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. But as for me, just outside of Camp Jeep, where everything is loud and going on, uh, especially with that blue 392 powered Wrangler. Until next time, gearheads.